God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God's not willing that any should perish. That's why we have the story of Jesus Christ. The fact is that Jesus Christ came what you call Christmas, what the world calls Easter, which are pagan holidays. But the very fact is, if it wasn't for mankind and his sins, there would be no story of Jesus Christ being born. There would be no story of the resurrection. If God would let man just die and go to hell. The Bible says God's not willing that any should perish. And the fact is that we have the story of Jesus Christ and what he done for mankind. And what he done is what we call the gospel. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. Yes, Jesus was born. But Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and that he was buried and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures I mean Jesus Christ himself tells us to go preach the gospel and the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the salvation. That is why Jesus said of himself, about himself, that Jesus said that he is the way and the truth and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father, but by Jesus. You see, religion did not go to a cross. Buddha didn't go to Calvary. Islam did not take our sins. Jesus Christ, who is God was 100% God and 100% man. That he came to this sin-cursed world. He didn't come here to hang out with the homeboys. He didn't come to chat and party. No, Jesus Christ came to seek that which is lost. And without Jesus Christ, you're lost. And Jesus tells the Christians to go in the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is your only access to heaven. Religion can't save you. Baptism can't save you. Going to church can't save you. Only Jesus Christ is able and will save your soul. You're not good enough. When the Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, there is none that doeth good. So don't walk up to the preacher and say, well, preacher, I'm good. I'm going to say the Bible says you're not good enough. The only good one is Jesus Christ. The only approved is Jesus Christ. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God approved. And without faith and belief upon Jesus Christ. 
the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You will die in your sins and you will spend all eternity in the absence of God in a place called hell where you will be judged by God and cast into the lake of fire that burneth forever. Because you will not believe. You will not put your faith in the shed blood of God, the Lamb of God, will take away the sin of the world. And you are a sinner. For the Bible says, for all have sinned, including me. I ain't holier than thou. On April 25th, 1987, I received the Jesus Christ by faith, the Jesus Christ and the means of salvation I preach. And 2021. 33 and a half years have I been preaching and I have not changed and I've stayed to that only Jesus Christ saves. That only Jesus Christ will get you to heaven. There is no one else. There is nowhere else. And there is nothing that can save your soul but Jesus Christ. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. I have believed with my heart. And I am confessing with my mouth. And it's preaching. Jesus said, preach the gospel. But I'm just openly, publicly, with my mouth, proclaiming my God, my Savior. I am telling you about the good news that I have. And the good news that I have is that Jesus saved my soul and he can save yours too. There is no rejection of God for whatever you have done, whatever sins you are involved, God will never turn you away. And there are people that told me, well, I'm too wicked. I've done too wrong. And I'm here to tell you that there is nothing too wicked that God can't wash and cleanse you. That the Bible says, if we confess our sins, He, God, is faithful to forgive and to cleanse. Your human priest can't cleanse you. He's a sinner himself. God has not ordained a priest class of people for the absolution of sins. God has ordained to finish work upon Calvary's cross. God has ordained the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. A priest can't do that. But the great high priest Jesus Christ is able to save your soul and cleanse you of your sins. He is the mediator between God and man. And the Bible says that that mediator is between God and man is the man Christ Jesus. It can't be a woman. When the Bible says the man, Christ Jesus, is the mediator. And if you try to teach and promote a female as the mediator, such as Mary, you are deceiving and preaching a lie. Because the Bible never says Mary can do anything. The Bible says that Allah can't do anything. The Bible says that baptism cannot wash away your sins. 
But the Bible does say that if you believe with your heart and you confess with your mouth Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and put faith and belief in his finished work, thou shalt be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. The apostle said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. No apostle of the Bible said, go to church. No apostle said, get baptized for salvation. They said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation and going to heaven rest upon what Jesus done and what you can never do. You can't get yourself to heaven. Your religion can't get you to heaven. Only faith and belief in Jesus can get you to heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Baptism comes after salvation. Going to church after salvation. Church and baptism is never salvation. There are people in hell today and they went to church. And there are people in hell today, they were baptized. And there are people in hell today, they had a religion. What they did not have is the faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone. And when you reject Jesus Christ, God will reject you. There is no substitute than the finished work of Jesus Christ and that his own words upon the cross that he died before his death he said it is finished and God was pleased and God was satisfied and God is only satisfied when you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. God is not satisfied with atheism. God is not satisfied with agnostics or science or Baptist or Catholic or Presbyterian. God is satisfied in the blood of his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have any notion, any thought of going to heaven, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Because without Jesus Christ, you're not going to heaven. And that is a standard of measurement set by God. God says, if you want to come in his presence, Jesus.
Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father, God, but by Jesus. There is no substitute. There is no other way to heaven except through the way of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. You won't get to heaven by accident. You can't have wishful thinkings of getting to heaven. You can't do nothing <coughs> to get to heaven. It's already all been done. Going to heaven has been finished by the finished work of Jesus Christ and that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is your access that is the way to get to heaven. And without Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell. In hell, there's no party. And in hell, the Bible says there's torments, agony, and defeat, and no mercy, and no grace. When you reject God, Jesus Christ. What you do with Jesus will determine where you go when you die. The wages of sin is death. You're going to die because you're a sinner. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Salvation is a free gift. Who would reject a gift? And yet God is offering you a gift and the gift of God is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life.